Okay, um, I'm looking at 2014, the higher level question on dynamic mechanisms. I'm just going to focus on part B of this question for this video. It's a CAMS question, as you can see from the diagram. But um, what came up differently about this particular year is uh, there wasn't the usual kind of things you have to do with CAMS, such as harmonic motion and acceleration, that type of thing. The CAM itself was based on what's known as an Archimedean spiral. And you can see that in the description there. So what's happening is, from A to B is an Archimedean spiral. And I'm just going to go through how to do that, because it could come up very easily in the dynamic mechanisms question. So what I've done is, um, on my drawing, I've just put in the basic circle here, the driver for the CAM. I've drawn that in, and I've marked off point A, and I've marked off point B. And you can see the measurements are given for those. So that's as much as I've set up on this question. Now, the Archimedes spiral is going to start at A, and it's going to wrap around, and it's going to end at B. So it goes around for one full revolution. What we're going to do first of all is we're going to divide up our area into uh, 12 segments using our 30, 60 degree set square. So I just draw those in heavily here, you can see them. They're construction lines for um, students, but just heavy so you can see them on the video. So 30, 60 divisions, 12 of them in total. And now, from A to B, if you look back on the question, you'll see it's one full revolution. So it starts here and it ends here. They're level with each other. So that's a full convolute, as it's known, the full revolution. So when we do a full revolution, that means we're going to be working with all 12 segments. And it's working between A and B. So what I'll do now is I'll take the distance between A and B, and I'll split it up into the same amount of segments, 12 in this case. And that's because I'm doing one full revolution. If I was doing two full revolutions, let's say, for instance, it started at A, swept around, and then went a full time around again until it reached B, then I would do 24 breaks for my 12 segments because it's going around twice. But because it's one revolution, it's 12 for 12. So I'll just do division of a line for that. And likewise, you'll off, you might see Archimedes spirals coming up like it mightn't be full revolutions either. It could be, like, let's say, one and a half revolutions. In that case, you would do 18 segments if you have 12 divisions. So just work it out as a ratio of that. Anyway, it's quite straightforward in this question. So we have 12 segments here, broken up between A and B. And we have 12 divisions with our slices, our 30, 60 degree slices. So now, this is very, very easy. All we're going to do is... Put our compass on the center point we're working from. Go to the first division between A and B. And just arc that down to your first 30 degree line. Then go to the second division and arc that to your second line. Your third division to your third line. And just keep repeating that. Now you don't have to arc it around necessarily. You can just take the measurement and strike it off. Just make sure you keep track of where you are with them. And you can see it's increasing in size. And that's what's going to give us the spiral look. So we're just marking off all of these individually, increasing it by one segment each time. And what's going to happen is we'll end at B. And we'll sketch in a nice smooth spiral, joining them all together. That's where we end. So it grows, as you can see, it's going to wrap around 
and it's going to increase in size and that's how you draw your Archimedean spiral. Now sketching this, same as drawing like an ellipse, parabola, any of those kind of freehand curves, just take your time, hold your pencil at full length if you can and just slowly arc them into each other. You'd often see students who sometimes using French curves, you'd see them in uh, stationery shops and they can help sometimes to draw these curves, but if you're half decent doing a freehand, it should suffice. And when you're happy with your line, you can go over it a bit heavier. But that's essentially how to do one of those spirals, and that's just for one full revolution. So that came up in 2014 for drawing your cam. So then for you to draw your the profile of what that cam looks like, you would take the height of each of those segments and draw your profile as usual. That's the, that part of the question done.